Julie Burke here. Hello. I think we're live. What's up? Happy Thursday. I'm coming to you live from my home office in Chicago. I've been traveling um, for the last five weeks, so I'm super excited about being here. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Um, hopefully, I have my personal page over here. What's up, guys? How are you? Hi. Make sure you say hi as you're tuning in. And then, of course, over here in my fan page community, hello, everybody. As you're tuning in, make sure you say hi. Wave. Give me hearts. Thumbs up. How's it going? Happy, happy, happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. I don't want to like scream at you, but I usually wear like my earpiece because I feel like you guys could hear me so much better, but I'm not wearing that today. So let me know. You guys can hear me. Okay. What's up, Judy? Hi, Lisa. Hey, Kylie. Um, thank you, Lisa. Happy birthday. You guys, thank you so much. First of all, before I even dive into today's training on how to stand out in an overcrowded market. Can I get an amen um, online? Before I dive in, I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys, for all of the birthday wishes. Um, we definitely know how to make this 41-year-old woman <laughs> feel special. And I always say age is just a number, right? It's just a number, you guys. It's all in the way that you feel. And that's why I take care of myself and I work out and I eat healthy sometimes, <laughs> I feel like not lately, I've been drinking pretty much every day for the last five weeks, okay? This, this girl needs a detox. Um, anyways, um, thank you, you guys. It was awesome. So I appreciate all the love, all the messages, all the virtual flowers, uh, just everything. So really cool. Second of all, I want you guys to share this broadcast because I'm going to be talking about how to, to really stand out in an overcrowded market. It is something that has helped me to create multiple, multiple um, six-figure streams, uh, multiple streams of income that are six figures. If you'd like to know that, give me a thumbs up. But share this. Share this with people that you know out there struggling. Share this with anyone that has been saying, I just am getting no engagement, no interaction on my stuff. Share it out. If you talk somebody in the comment section or sh write share, if you share, I will give you a shout out. And those of me that know me know that I also, um, I love doing like random drawings and giving away like little 30 minute coaching sessions. Okay. So if you write share in the comments, you share it out. Um, I will just randomly pick you out and we will do a session. Okay. So first of all, if you're new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. I'm looking back and forth because I am here on my phone, on my personal page, and then over here on my fan page. Um, but what I really specialize in is helping entrepreneurs and helping network marketers bring their brand to life and their business online so they can leverage their time, they can ignite their income, and they can create more of an impact faster. Can I get an amen if that is you? If any of that resonated with you, put amen in the freaking comments, okay? Because that's what it's all about. You guys, I've done the old school way of network marketing. If you know my story, I've been in network marketing for six years. Really quick, I'm just going to share. Network marketing for six years. Two years ago, I decided to develop my own brand. My own brand, you guys, not my company, not my products, not my compensation plan, Julie Burke's brand, okay? I've developed out my own brand. I have brought my business online. I now do everything online. I have prospects reaching out to me daily to join my network marketing team. I transitioned out of my network marketing company last year, had no plans on doing that, but here's the cool part about it, you guys. I'm building 10 times faster than I did before because I have built out my brand and because I do online marketing. And that's what I want you to do. I don't want, I don't like seeing people, I don't like the word struggle. Okay. So can we just drop 
the word struggle in the comment section and like let's just leave struggle there okay drop struggle if you've ever struggled and leave it in the comments struggle okay so here's the thing i have invested a good amount of money learning these skills and that's why i do these my my these trainings because i want to offer to you what i have learned okay now i know social media is busy i get it there's billions of people out there so don't freak out that we don't have you know i know we know billions of people are on social media but i get this all the time but julie i'm not getting engagement but julie i'm not you know i'm like nobody's responding and this is what i say it doesn't happen overnight like it does take time to build up your brand okay so when i'm talking about how to stand out online i i sat down and i thought about okay what did i do like what were the steps that i took two years ago would you guys like to know that would you like to know there's four things four if you want to know the four four things that has helped me i need you to put four in the comment section okay and i'll wait bye bye struggle i love it erin erin you're like my daily dose of positivity girl i love you um natasha i love that yes okay struggle i'm gonna give this you guys i know there's always like um a, like a, there's just like a delay on facebook it drives me crazy it's the same thing when i do zooms but put four in the comment section all right so Tori says four, Linda says four, Terry says four. What's up, Terry? How are you, girl? Angela, Terry, I did not forget about you, girl. I know I need to take a look at your lead magnet. I will do that. All right. So here's the thing. I'm going to move you guys closer. Here's the thing. When I sat down and I thought about, okay, how did I do this? Like, how did I, how was I able to grow really quickly? Okay. And here, this is what I did. Uh, first of all, I had to gain clarity. Okay. Someone drop clarity in the comments. I need you to put clarity because this is super freaking important. And I'm talking about clarity around defining your brand. Okay. Now, when I talk about brand, I don't want you guys to freak out. Okay. Because I get a lot of people that put all of this highlighted, like, pressure on, oh my gosh, I need to think about my colors and my logos and like, what the hell does, does a brand mean, right? It's the, it's clarity around defining your brand and your brand story. And I'll walk you through this. So before you can start building your brand in the eyes of your audience, okay, this is really important. You have to have a strong idea of how exactly you personally want to be viewed, okay? So what I mean by that is when I decided I wanted to develop my own brand, I had to sit down and say, okay, first of all, what do I stand for, okay? What does Julie Burke stand for? Because again, we're not branding your business or your competition plan or your products or your services or blah, blah, blah. It's you. So I'll give you an example. I just got off a call with a possible um, coaching coaching client, okay? And so we were talking. I even wrote it down. So I said to her, because she says to me, hold on, let me grab it. I'm not going to tell you her name or anything. Yeah, I just, I took notes. Okay, so this is really good. So she said, you know, I don't understand what uh, the, the um, like, she's like, I really don't understand how to develop my brand. And I said, okay, so walk me through what it is you're passionate about. And she did. And she said, horses, beauty, fashion, and business. And I said, okay, what is the thing that you are complimented on the most? And we walked through it. Like, so think about this for yourself. Is it how you make other people feel? Is it maybe that you may, you have like these most amazing recipes that you're known for? Is it how you make people laugh? Maybe you find laughter as being the best medicine, which it is, right? So not only is it how do you make people feel, but what can you talk about 
all day long to your blue in the face where somebody's like, oh my gosh, Julie, like shut up about it already. So I remember when I was starting my franchise, I was in my early 20s. You know my story. I opened a franchise at, at 22, 23 years old. And I cannot freaking stop talking about opening a franchise. Like I was so freaking excited about it. And I talked about it all the time. People like, Jesus, shut up, right? I was really excited to go in business for myself. And so that was something I could talk about all the time. Another thing is I love health and fitness, okay? So figure out what it is. So we went through a list of her passions. We went through a list of how she makes people feel, what she enjoys talking about. And within that is where she started to gain more clarity around her brand. Because you have to understand this first and what your core values, your mission, and your beliefs are before you could go out and attract the right person or else you're just going to be throwing stuff out there and not really pulling in the people that you want. You guys, this is Attraction Marketing 101. So start thinking about what, what inspires you, okay? Um, what are your brand values or what are, like I said, your core values? What problems do you so solve for potential consumers or clients, okay? Um, and just like really start thinking about how old are they? What's their gender? Are you speaking the women? Are you speaking the men? Are you speaking the moms? Are you speaking to um, people that ride horses? I mean, seriously, this is what you have to get really clear on. And then you do, this is how then you develop your unique brand story. Okay. So, Typically, I'll say this time and time again, and this is not like a branding um, training. I do have a branding training coming out, you guys. This is something that I feel really strongly about, and I want to help entrepreneurs really develop out and grow their brand. So that is coming. However, you intertwine your own unique brand story into your content, and this is how people start to get to know you, like you, and trust you. Okay, so the three calls I had today with three potential coaching clients all were like freaking out because they already felt like they knew me and I had like some celebrity status, which I don't, and that's not how I view myself, but yet they do because of how I portrayed myself online because I consistently show up because I consistently offer value. Okay, um, and letting people into your world is part of building out your brand okay do you guys understand this does this make sense if this makes sense i need you to put yes in the comment section all right let me know drop a yes number two moving on start by educating not selling so it's it's lives over likes i'm going to say it again it's lives over likes okay you have to make an impact first and sell second. Okay, does that make sense? Thanks for all the hearts over here. I think this is on my fan page. Thank you for all the hearts. Okay, um, so one of the best parts about building out your brand is by delivering content. You guys, I am a content master. I freaking, I think my, my brain is, I'm a visionary in my business. Sometimes it gets me in trouble because I drum up way too many ideas and my team gets like not mad at me, but they have to like seriously rein me in. But I also love the creation of content and headlines and all that cool stuff. I, I've learned a lot about copywriting. Okay. So once you understand who you're talking to, so two years ago, I said, I want to be known as the, I, I want to be known as the person that gives value to network marketers. Okay. So I would develop content because that's what I knew. You start with what you know. And this is where I'm going to go back to saying, don't put so much pressure on yourself in the beginning because your brand will evolve over time. It, it just will. Okay. It started with new network marketers two years ago and I've like branched off into then um, leadership. I've branched off into helping coaches get started with their online business. I branched off into affiliate marketing. Okay. So you guys, it always can evolve. All right. So start by educating, not selling. So once you understand who you're talking to, that's how you understand you guys, the content that you can create for your community. Cause that's really what it is. Okay. 
Number three, choose your platform, okay? Choose your platform. There are different messages for different platforms. So I don't really, um, somebody said to me, go and you should totally be on Pinterest. This is what she says to me. Hey, what's up, Razor? Um, and I said, Pinterest, Pinterest is like not my thing. And plus I go, you guys, I go to Pinterest and I get lost for hours. It's a time suck. Does anyone do anything on Pinterest? If you've like been on Pinterest and you know what the heck I'm talking about, <laughs> drop me an emoji because Pinterest, Pinterest can just suck me in for hours. Okay. I don't pretend I even know about Instagram. I have an Instagram account, but I'm not a master at it. You guys, I stick to Facebook. Facebook has, I think, the most advanced tools and resources than any other platforms. So I stick here. And specifically on Facebook is a fan page. So I started my fan page two years ago. Again, if you know my story, you know that I brought myself online, I started developing my brand, I started developing content around helping network marketers. Now in the beginning, my content around helping network marketers was pretty generic, okay? And I knew I didn't want to stay there for long, but what my mentor said is you start with what you know and you grow and expand from there, just like I said to you. So my very first lead magnet was called 41 Bulletproof One-Liners, and they were um, cold market conversation starters. All right, so who do you think I was attracting in? I was attracting in that network marketers because it was specifically targeting network marketers. And I said, I use all of the language that network marketers use, cold market conversation starters. However, because I was starting my coaching business and I was looking to work with a different sort of clientele, I had to change my content. I had to change my lead magnet okay so does that make sense you guys so I'm just I'm kind of walking you through the process of my business and, and really understanding that the language you use and understanding your your how to market your message to the right audience is super crucial for who you're looking to attract back in all right I know it's a little bit more advanced stuff but it's important all right so if you're getting value drop me some hearts let me know okay so I specifically started a, a fan page two years ago, and that's where I wanted to go to get away from my warm market, okay? My warm market was on my personal page. I had, you know, even though I was doing curiosity marketing, marketing I still wanted to, like, utilize all of these advanced tools that Facebook offers, and I didn't want to be put in Facebook jail. And when you got when you have a business page, you guys, and a fan page, the cool thing is you can you can do whatever the heck you want on there. Okay, that's what it's for. It's for business. So I didn't go there to just sell my business or sell my product. I went there as Julie Burke and built up my brand first and my content, and it was it was value, value, value. I just stacked the value, and then I was able to sell. What's up, Isabel? How are you, sweetie? Okay. So I can, you can target your ideal customer, your ideal prospect, your ideal market. You literally can target and get your message right in front of that person by using um, funnels and ads. Okay, so again, it's a little bit something. It's a little bit more in depth, but you guys, utilizing funnels has been the bread and butter of my business. Okay. Which then leads me to number four, which is, you guys, create a funnel. Talk about passive income. Talk about passive products. So I have a funnel right now for my network marketing business. It actually just went live yesterday. It's done very classy. It's done very good. Um, I already have a couple people that fill out the application that are in my email box today. Now, if you would like that and start attracting more people into your business passively, can you please put an emoji, thumbs up emoji, inside the comment section? So not only have I been able to sell my products passively and um, you know pull in coaching clients passively, I've also been able to uh, build my network marketing uh, business passively through pulling in people. And you guys, it's Attraction Marketing 101. You will draw people in faster with your message when you put your message right in front of them. That's why I do use ads. And people have this misconception that ads are a lot of money. So 
if you're truly a business owner, I want you to drop in the comment section and what do you think most business owners invest in their business? Please, I'd love to know your thoughts. And then I'm gonna tell you what I invested in my business. Um, so let me know, just put it in the comment section. I'm getting a lot of thumbs up. Yeah, you guys, it's cool. Like passive, passive prospecting, passive sales are amazing. I'm not gonna lie, they're amazing. Um, and so creating a funnel has been really huge for all of my businesses. Any way you slice it or dice it, my affiliate marketing, my network marketing, my coaching, and my digital products. Any way you slice it and dice it, they've all been used through funnels. And I, I literally invested over $70,000 literally working with mentors to learn all of this, okay? So self-development, advertising, money, techie, yikes, have to find one. So Heather, are you talking about tech, like techie, that's why you don't use funnels? Terry, are you talking about money in, in like what form? You guys explain, ads, go a little bit further. Self-development, Le 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 Leanne or Alignment, I don't know, Lenane, Le you guys, I butch up names so bad, I'm so sorry. But let me know, Um, what's up Eric? So. So yeah, creating a funnel, 300,000 is what I invested in my kickboxing gym. Woo, girlfriend, I know, I feel your pain. So um, Tanya invested 300,000 in her kickboxing gym. Tanya, let me ask you, do you still have that gym? Because here's the thing, because this is, this, is this is what business owners think, and this is why, why People that are in network marketing, they're, they're in our industry or they're coaches or consultants, they think like, oh, I'm just going to either treat this as a hobby or I'm going to treat, treat this as a side gig and that's totally cool. So I guess I'm only talking to those that actually want to build their business online and want to learn how to do that faster, okay? So here's the thing. Um, I invested 750000 into my franchise. Um, and I will tell you right now that that was almost nine years of living in hell. And again, sorry guys, I keep looking back and forth between my fan page and my personal page here. But I will tell you that um, being able to run a business online and do these things that need to be done that a lot of people don't do and figuring it out and gaining more clarity around that and then understanding how attraction marketing works has been the best thing for my business. And guess what? I don't have to invest $750,000, okay? Hala, John, how are you? I take it you're off your live now. <laughs> I'll join you in another one. <laughs> um, so defining your brand, creating your brand story, understanding that is what will set you apart. You guys, nobody else will have your story. And that is probably how my brand has developed as fast as it did. Staying consistent, um, start by educating, not selling. I didn't go and start my fan page and just start selling to my fan page. Absolutely not. I started actually building relationships first and I did that pretty quickly. Um, choosing your platform. My platform I, of choice is Facebook. It will always remain Facebook. I do not get distracted in trying to learn other things because I feel like Facebook's where it's at and specifically starting my own business page and fan page. Every person that has an influential brand has a business page and a fan page. I'm not saying you have to have that to build your business. However, However, if you're looking to branch away from your warm market and get into your coal market, it absolutely helps. And then creating a funnel, creating some sort of funnel. Funnels do not have to be complicated. I teach so many different types of funnels. Um, and learning how, uh, or learning attraction marketing and learning how Facebook ads run, okay? So if, I want to be able to quit my job and do this full time. Dee Dee, I hear you. I hear you. Heather, they do not have to be techy. I promise you. Um, so listen, if you guys want to take a deeper dive in learning how to automate your business, I did create, if you're on my email list, you got my email yesterday for my birthday special, 65% discount. You will 
never see it. This is the most advanced course that I actually have called Passive Profit Creator. Um, and you also get a private Facebook group when you, when you become a student of mine. And um, I will tell you, I'm just going to quickly walk you through what it is. So it basically, we take a deep dive into fan page, um, how to grow and how to, how to develop, how to grow and how to scale your fan page, how to create more engagement. Like we, it, this is not like fan page success playbook. That was way more beginner. You guys, we dive deep into, I get asked every day two questions. Um, how do I get more engagement on my fan page, AKA business, Facebook business page, right? And how do, how can I create some passive income or how can I get people reaching out to me for my business? Here it is. Passive profit creator. I created is a funnel course as well as a fan page course, as well as understanding email marketing. So when you have an email list, you guys, um, I have, I think I'm at about just under 38,000 subscribers, right? On my email list, it's something I built in the last two years. Um, I also use, and this is more advanced, but a lot of people have been asking me about these many chat bots, okay? It is something that is also something you'll learn in Passive Profit Creator. So Passive Profit Creator is five modules. I do not put fluff in there. It is literally five straightforward trainings. That's it. I walk you through fan page, Fan pages, how to profit, how to sell to your audience authentically, keyword, and then how to build out a funnel. I walk you through all the different types of funnels that are right for you, and then how to integrate your email marketing, okay? And then I have, uh, I think we have 11, 11 like step-by-step, -step, literally walking you through, um, like it's a video vault, like step-by-step, -step, like how to set it up. So how to set up your first fan page, right? If you don't have one, how to schedule your fan page, page posts, um, how to create your first likes ad campaign, how to create a meme in Canva. I'm asked this all the time too. How to, um, how to set up your email marketing. I personally use active campaign. What does that look like? It is not complicated, okay? We literally walk you through. My team member, Kylie, has all of these trainings in there. Um, and then how to use many chat box, okay? She literally walks you through many chat box. Again, it's another automated system. And it's cool because you could get subscribers and it's connected through your Facebook um, account. But anyways, long story short, that's what passive profit creator is. And then I give you an entire list of all of my resources because I'm asked questions a lot as well. Um, who do I use to outsource? What do I use to schedule? Like all of this stuff. So um, I use click funnels. So we walk you through all that in the resources and then you get the bonuses and the bonuses are how to create a lead magnet. So a lead magnet basically is that free bribe, whatever you want. I don't even like calling it a bribe, you guys. It's the free value you're giving to your ideal target market to um, collect their email, okay? And then once they're on your email list, guess what? You build relationships. You can't just sell. You have to build relationships. You'll know, get the brand assessment workbook because I ask you questions that just dive deeper into your brand. Um, the fan page uh, checklist, you're going to get a five steps to creating your first uh, sales funnel. Literally walk you through. That's a bonus. I forgot also one of the modules in there is all about um, Facebook Live and video marketing as well. So I'm not, it's called um, Point, Profit, and Shoot. So that module right there, I'm going to walk you through exactly how I've been able to build my brand faster through utilizing Facebook Lives and exactly my formula of how I do it. And then um, I also give you as a bonus headline templates that rock because I told you I learned a lot about copywriting, you guys, and I love it. So anyways, if you want to check it out more, I'm offering it as 65% discount. So tomorrow only as a birthday special. All you got to do is in the comments put PPC. PPC, Passive Profit Creator, but it's just PPC, and you will get an inbox message from me. Hello. We're talking many chat bots, guys, and, um, and it'll just give you more information so you can check it out, okay? But the sale price is only good till tomorrow. So listen, if you found value in all of this, 
Um, thank you so much for hanging out. I just put value in the comment section. Sorry, I'm just reading messages over here. I definitely need help with branding. I'm all over the place. Dee Dee, girlfriend, branding is not complicated. Don't overcomplicate it. I promise you, hon. But pick up PPC. We go deeper into um, all of that, okay? Um, you guys have an awesome day. I hope you found value in this. If you did put value in the comments, I love you guys. Thank you again so much for all the birthday messages. Truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And uh, I just hope that, um, you know, oh, also, what was I going to say? Um, what was I going to say? I'm coming back with more content. I know I've been off for like the last five weeks traveling. I know traveling. Everyone's like, you're the traveling queen. Um, I'm going to really start nailing down a time to do these live trainings to like, I think Tuesdays at noon. And I'm also going to be pulling in to do more guest uh, expert interviews. So if there's someone in particular that you would love to have um, be brought in to be interviewed, and this would be actually on my fan page. So um, let me know. I have developed a lot of friendships in this space and uh, with a lot of amazing influencers. And um, I know all of them would be happy to come on in and do a training or an interview with, uh, with our community. So if you have anyone in mind, let me know. And if you are struggling with anything or you want me to do a video on a video training on something, again, let me know. I always like to seek out what my audience um, wants to hear, obviously. And, and you take that as well for, for when you go and do your Facebook lives. I always say pull your audience. Always, 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 okay? Lenane, Fernie, I had Fernie on not long ago. I had Fernie on in May, I think. Um, you should definitely go check that out. It was actually when we were promoting No, uh, no Excuses. But um, if you go through my fan page here, you'll find that interview. It was awesome. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks for hanging. I got to run. I have to start. I'm working on this um, branding training that I'm doing for all of you guys. So just bringing you more value. Bringing you, oh, Tanya. Tanya is awesome. Tanya and I are partnered together in my network marketing company, and she's awesome. So thank you. Yeah, keep it coming in. I love hearing from you guys. All right? Have a good one. Have an awesome rest of your day, and rock out your weekend. And Again, put PPC in. You guys want to check this out. I promise you, if you want to learn passive profits and how to create funnels and build out your fan page, you want this course. I do not hold back. We put everything in this course, okay? So with that being said, I am going to decline that call, and I will see you guys all real soon. Bye.